Guam. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh by Hashem Yehoshai, and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and honors to the brothers out there in the high ways and the high ways seeking this word with no sincerity and in truth. Shalom to you brothers out there that's uh, supporting the ministry and to the few sisters as well. Um, I just want to make a response to this video of GMS. Um, Yahweh Shai is the greatest redeemer um, made by the brother whose channel is GMS Born Again. Um, shalom to you brother. Um, it was a beautiful video. I'm going to re-upload it or you can watch it on the brother's channel GMS Born Again or on the parcel around our channel. You know, the main thing is to watch the video. Um, but he goes into Yahweh Shai being the redeemer. Okay, which we know the word redeem means to buy back. Okay, to buy back. Now, it's very interesting because you have to understand that in certain cultures, certain cultures have words which are very difficult to translate into another culture's language because they don't have that particular office or that political thing within their culture. Okay, and um, with Hebrew, one of those particular words is Ga'al. Okay, there is a specific word in the Hebrew, which means a kinsman redeemer, which there isn't really a Greek word for it, which is why you won't find the you won't find in the Greek um, writings a word which specifically matches Ga'al. You will find words like you know with, that just means to buy back. But Ga'al is very specific. Okay, when you look at the word Ga'al, it's translated 50 times as redeem, redeemer, kinsman, revenger, <laughs> avenger, ransom, deliver, kinsfolk, kinsman, purchase. So it represents um, uh, um, redeeming. It also represents um, payback on, be on behalf of one of your kinsmen. So in the law, you have the avenger of blood, which is a ge'al. Okay, if you, you slew, you murdered one of his family members, and it's his job to be the first one to cast that stone to put you to death. He's playing the role of the kinsman um, avenger. You also have the kinsman redeemer. If you fell into um, slavery or debt, it would be um, the kinsman redeemer or the ga'al could um, redeem you from that situation. All right. Now, we read here to redeem, to act as kinsman is very key. This specific word is attached to kinsman. Kinsman redeemer, avenge, revenge, ransom, to do the part of a kinsman. So, if you are described as a ga'al, you are doing the part of a kinsman, whether it is to redeem someone from uh, um, um, slavery or whatever the case may be or to redeem their honor if they were put to death unrighteously by taking revenge to act as kinsman redeemer do the part of next of kin act as kinsman redeemer by marrying brother's widow to beget child for him to redeem from slavery to redeem land to exact vengeance Okay, that's the role of a ga'al. It's a very specific Hebrew word. It's specific to Hebrew culture and used within our law. Okay, um, to redeem with God as the subject because is he not spoken of as our heavenly father? He says individuals from death, Israel from Egyptian bondage, Israel from exile. All right, now the point is, is that Yahweh Shai is described throughout these scriptures as kinsman redeemer which proves that he only came described as a kinsman redeemer which proves that he only came for his kinsman now if we look up the word kinsman Right. A kinsman is a blood relative, especially a male. A relative by marriage, a person of the same nationality or ethnic group. You see? That's why it tells you in Matthew 1 and 21 that he who saved his people 
from his sins. He's playing the role of a Ga'al to the nation of Israel, specifically the elect. The elect. He's a kinsman redeemer. He, he came to redeem his kinsmen, those of his nation, those of his ethnic group, ethnos. Not just the Jews, but all the 12 tribes. All right. If we go to um specifically, I mean, you could look, look up this word Ga'al and when it's used, it's all over the scriptures, man. Showing you this book is very racial. Okay. We get Isaiah 60, uh, 63. All right. Which we know this is speaking of the Messiah. Isaiah 16 and 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom with thy garments from Bozrah? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wide fat? And that you could you could precept this to the book of Revelations, which even Esau knows that. I guarantee if we get this up in the in the um cross reference. Oh man, Esau's the devil, man. How did Esau not know this one? Wow. He hiding that one. I guess he don't want it to uh um Um, I guess you don't want to let that one out, man. Let's get it in the book of Revelations. Wow. Normally Esau's got them, them kind of, you know, bait ones. I believe it's Revelation year 19. Uh, 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 normally Esau's got them locked up, man. Revelation 19 and 13. And he have clothed with a vexture dipped in blood. And his name is called the word of God. That's the precept. It's the same thing. Okay, wherefore art thou red in thine apparel and thine garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? Okay, it ain't wine that his garment was red with, it's blood. It says, I have trodden the wine press alone and of the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments and I will stain all my raiment. Okay, that's, that's why we just pulled that up in Revelations. Uh, 19 about the vesture dipped in blood is speaking about Yahweh Shai. I have uh, sorry for the day of vengeance is in mine heart Okay, again Ga'al deals with that That's why the Lord says shall not he avenge his very elect He's playing the role of the Ga'al for all of the, his disciples that were slain He's gonna be Ga'al for them that were murdered like John the Baptist Yahweh Shai is gonna play the role of Ga'al for the day of vengeance is in mine heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. And the word there for redeemed is Ga'al, which lets you know that the redeemed of the Lord are his kinsmen. And like I said, I would like I would encourage you to look up this word Ga'al in the blue letter and look at all the different scriptures where Ga'al is mentioned in prophecy. And the only conclusion you can make is that. The redeemed of the Lord are his kinsmen. They're of the same ethnic group. Isaiah 59 20. And the Redeemer, the Ga'al, shall come to Zion. If he's a Ga'al coming to Zion, he's a kinsman, Redeemer. And unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob. I mean, come on. Just look at all the different scriptures that is H1350. For Ga'al, remember that what Ga'al means, and then you will see quite clearly that salvation is only for those of the nation of Israel.